Hamis Abdurrahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, in a series of lessons of binary operation, we talked about logical operator. And logical operator, basically, we discuss three types of logical operators. We discuss the logical AND, the logical OR, and the NOT. And in today, we are going to take up uh, another uh, step onto what are the bitwise operators. Basically, there are around six types of bitwise operators, and we are going to discuss one by one. So we have the first one is what we call a bitwise AND. And it is represented by an ampersand. So this is a bitwise AND. We have the second one, which is the bitwise OR by only one piped. And this is the bitwise OR. And then we have got the third one is what we call an exclusive OR. So this is an exclusive or and then we have the fourth one which <coughs> is shift left represented by two less than signs so this is shift left we have got the fifth one which is shift right represented by two greater than sign and the last one or the sixth one is what we call a complement represented by a tile so this is a complement now the bit was uh, operator actually uh, it takes an one operand and used to perform a bit operation and it takes up the, dec uh, the decimal value convert them into binary value <coughs> for example if you have got an integer a and assign it a value of 5 so this particular value of 5 when you do bit uh, wise operation it will be taken into binary uh, for example this will be the binary of 5 And we if we take up another value, b, and give it up a, a value of 9, so this will be in binary form. In 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, that will be a 9. So now, if we perform a bit was ironed onto these two what will be the value the value actually will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 which is equivalent to the decimal 1 so basically this is how we are going to do it at the end of the day so let's see here how we can actually uh, implement it into C programming or in the plus plus here we have declare <coughs> here we have declare an unsigned integer and we give it a value of 5 and a value of 9 whereby it represent a value of 5 and 9 actually into what uh, 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 what we see as binary uh, numbers and then we have declared uh, some variables and uh, these variables they are called in for the uh, logical AND OR for logical OR and XOR for logical uh, uh, XOR and then COM for the logical uh, complement uh, and this is shift left and shift right. Now we are performing all this particular operation. So <coughs> this particular operation basically when we do when we do it when we do it we are going to get up uh, actually the value of one. The value of 1, the value of 1, which can be represented into 0, 0, 0, 0, 
one as we have seen up here so we put up an and what about if we put up an or we put up an or it will give us a value of 13 and that particular value of 13 can be represented by 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. so that will give us that particular value and when we do an exclusive or will give up a, a value of 12 and that particular uh, 12 can be represented by 000 uh, 000 1100 uh, and uh, if you do the complement out of it so the complement of this will give us a, a, a value of uh, minus because it is the opposite of it will give up the value of uh, minus six and uh, when we say shift to the right when you say shift to the right it will give us uh, a value uh, of 18 sorry the value of 18 which can be represented uh, into binary as 0 0 0 uh, 1 0 0 1 0 and then lastly this one will give us uh, a value of 4 and this particular uh, value of 4 can be represented into binary code as 0 0 0 0 0 0 uh, 1 uh, uh, 1 0 so I mean 1 uh, 0 so basically that is uh, what we are going to get so let us run this particular program and see what happens so when we run this particular program actually we are getting up uh, our values and they are here we are getting up our value of 1 uh, 13 12 minus 6 18 and 4 so thank you very much for listening and uh, in our next lesson which will be our last lesson we are going to talk about assignment operator however don't forget to subscribe for our next and new videos thank you very much